Hey, hi guys. We've um, just got this 79 series back in after tuning it, fitting a uni chip uh, roughly a year ago. Um, customer's just got back from Cape York and he's just been complaining about a bit of black smoke and not quite running the way it used to. So he's just booked it in for a retune. Uh, we've put it on the dyno and we've just given it a quick power run and very quickly we can see we've got a, a boost issue. Um, we can see here the boost line, so we've got RPM along the bottom and we've got our boost along the sides. So you can see the red line was um, was how it was last time we tuned it with the uni chip. So you can see the boost was coming in a lot earlier versus RPM and now it's very lazy coming on the boost, like it's not making peak boost till two and a half thousand revs whereas earlier we had peak boost by around 1900. Um, this to me shows there's probably something going on with the boost solenoid which we have seen um, quite a few of these new Land Cruisers have this issue and I'll just show you how we test this um, this problem and um, how, to, how to fix it. Okay guys so um, the boost solenoid on these V8 Land Cruisers is located here in front of the intercooler. Um, what we found is because they, they're constantly sucking um, being a vacuum valve um, they tend to suck in any dirt, water, so when you're four-wheel driving and doing these nice river crossings, um, this valve will, will actually suck dirt in. Um, so that, that obviously causes issues. Um, all they do have is a, a little filter to sort of stop, you know, dirt and water, but it, you know, obviously doesn't do a very good job. And over time, especially long periods of four-wheel driving, these valves will become blocked and give issues, just like we've shown on the graph, where very lazy boost response. So I'll just show you a quick little test that we can do to um, verify the valve before we replace it. What we've done is we've fitted a, a simple vacuum gauge to um, my boost solenoid, so we can actually measure the vacuum that the turbocharger is seeing. Um, what we can see here is it's got about 10 inches of vacuum. Now that's nowhere near enough to um, control the turbocharger effectively. Um, what I'll do now is I'll replace the valve and um, just show what it should be reading. See now, my vacuum's 26, 27 inches of vacuum, which is what the turbocharger requires to um, work effectively and make boost the way it should. Um, what I'll do in a minute is I'll mount this up properly, and do some more power runs, and we'll see how our boost and power comes back to where it should be. Okay, guys, so we've um, fitted the new boost solenoid to this uh, 79 series. Um, again, we had our before boost curve which is the one in the red and now that we've um, fitted the new boost solenoid we've uh, retuned the uni chip again and you can see now the blue line is the new boost curve so you can see there's a huge improvement especially in the lower in the lower end so it'll make a lot better torque and a lot better boost response so now it's back to working how it should be this is the importance of having your vehicle checked on a dyno on a regular basis for retuning purposes. Um, it's not that the, the chips or the tune changes, but there's certainly other components in the whole system that can vary and cause issues, exactly like this one. Um, so that's why it's important to have your vehicle checked on a dyno um, on a regular basis. All our authorised Unichip agents have dynos on premises, so for further information and to find your local dealer, visit www.unichip.com.au Thanks guys.